What exactly is the difference between energy poverty and energy burden? Well, you've come to the right place. Let's break it down. And this has been recorded by Dr. Destiny Knock. Energy poverty is defined as the lack of access to modern energy services. For example, do you have electricity in your home? Even if you do, can you purchase wind or solar energy? If not, you are experiencing a form of energy poverty. Energy poverty is in both developing and developed nations. Some people cannot get energy in their homes due to supply issues, but others may not be able to afford energy services. Lack of energy services is resource-based poverty, while affordability struggles are economic-based poverty. So it's very complex. Energy burden is a type of economic-based energy poverty. Specifically, energy burden is defined as the percent of income that a household spends on covering their energy bills. If a household spends more than 10% of their income meeting their energy bills, they are defined as severely energy poor. Now that we know the difference between energy poverty and energy burden, we can make more effective policies. Solving energy burden is about reaching energy equality, meaning that everyone gets the benefit according to the same rule, which is according to their energy burden. The challenge is that it does not consider if low-income households use less energy, meaning that they would have a lower energy burden, but are keeping their households at unsafe temperatures. Solving energy poverty requires achieving energy equity. Here, everyone gets a certain benefit level according to their circumstances and needs. For example, if a household doesn't use enough energy to keep their house warm in the winter because they are scared of the bill costs, they should receive enough support to use an adequate amount of energy based on their health needs. So what exactly are we working towards? Well, let's talk about some goals to alleviate energy poverty. Goals for reducing energy poverty. Goal one could be to have a low energy burden, burden, meaning everyone spends a small percent of their disposable income on their energy bills. Goal two might be racial inclusion, ensuring that black and brown communities have access to jobs and can adopt energy technologies. Goal three, global energy equality, meaning that we have universal access to modern, affordable, and clean energy services. Now that we have a clear definition of energy poverty, energy burden, and some goals, let's go out and create an equitable energy future.